project began when uh, Angela Watson contacted me asking uh, what the possibilities were for us to do a, a commission uh, for City Hall in a collaboration with not only ourselves but with Brigitte Clavet uh, from the uh, New Brunswick Craft College. He had some design ideas, I had some design ideas quite separately and then when we met it was quite surprising how much there was in common and from there we had a series of discussions and a series of meetings and uh, decided to go with the motif. So it seemed very fitting that uh, we should make something that uh, was representative of the city and of the environment around us. Et la chose que nous on avait en commun, c'était le poisson. On a décidé que ce poisson-là, ce serait symbolique du saumon qui est dans la rivière et qui rejoint tous les, uh, les aspects de notre culture. Everybody in, in our staff here is all part of the design process and the creation process. Uh, so it's not just one person. Uh, one person's idea, but a sort of a collective or collaboration of everybody's ideas. Uh, my process uh, involves uh, basically coming up with the look um, for the pewter and how it'll turn out in the end. So I've got a bit of foresight that I need to look into. Uh, once I have that uh, image in mind or that uh, design, I would uh, develop some drawings, uh, sketches. Uh, we'd bring that to the computer. Um, do some scanning, uh, reproduce it with some vector-based line art, uh, and then after that I would bring it into uh, the dark room. Um, and the dark room process involves uh, basically shooting down the artwork onto uh, film, uh, which would then give us something that has uh, a uh, clear and uh, opaque black uh, film so that uh, we have rays and recessed areas, and we would then transfer that onto uh, polymer plates. Uh, the polymer plates are uh, just basically um, metal backing with uh, photosensitive uh, plastic. So once we put it into our polymer machine, that would wash out all the negative space and all the raised areas would give us our impression, um, which would then uh, be used with uh, the mold maker into creating the patterns. Pierre-Luc, when he finishes up the, uh, the polymer plate, um, what uh, it provides me is, is uh, the front and the back of the part that we want to produce. Um, what I'll do with that is I'll take it and cut it out by hand with uh, a jeweler's saw. And those pieces I will uh, glue the front and the back onto a piece of uh, pewter uh, sheet stock that we have available. These get uh, placed into a sandwich of uncured, unvulcanized rubber discs. The, the sandwich of, of the raw rubber around the patterns um, goes into the vulcanizing press. This is the actual mold that was used to produce the patterns for the, uh, the, the fish wall project. And what you can see here is after I removed the, uh, the patterns, um, what was left was an impression in the rubber um, uh, of the exact shape and size of the, the original part. Now the, the casting process takes that mold, loads it into a, a casting machine that will hold the mold closed and also rotate the mold. Then we pour the molten pewter alloy down in the center of the machine, which then, uh, with centrifugal force, forces the metal out into the cavities. And on this project, we chose to use a satin finish. Uh, we thought it would look best. We'll take the fish and uh, uh, buff the edges, and then buff the face, and then the back. And uh, once they're done, why then uh, we give them a, a, a spray coating of a clear lacquer finish so that their just buffed appearance will last for years to come. The fish now, of course, have to be installed on the wood. Pierre-Luc was able to create a full-size paper template which marked out all the locations for the, where the pins. Um, after that, it's a matter of uh, taking all the, the fish castings and dry fitting them in place, making sure they fit. We feel so much fabric of Fredericton because we've been here for such a long time and been supported by the community um, just tremendously over, uh, over the 40 years. And uh, it is a, an honor for us to, 
to to have the piece in City Hall, but also to have it in such an auspicious location as the uh, the entrance to uh, the chambers, um, basically the seat of city government. And uh, so every time somebody walks in, goes underneath our sculpture type plaque, you know, it's it's there. It's Aikens. It's, you know, sort of my background and the collabor collaboration of everyone sort of always being recognized every time somebody uh, walks through those doors.